Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. One of the things I hear quite often is, I struggle making a bow. So I want to give you a couple tips today and not just how to make the bow, but how to edit effectively to your cards. I've got the beautiful gold metallic edge ribbon here. It also comes in silver. The gold has a vanilla base down the center and the silver has white. Let's start by just making the bow. This is a satin ribbon and I find that most people struggle with this type of fabric more so than anything else because it's slippery. So start by making your loop and you're gonna come around and make your bow. It's important that you keep enough room in that opening so that you can pull the loop through. Oftentimes people try to make it too small. Then what you're gonna do is tighten it up. And again, this is where most people get messed up because they're like, well, it's not even, one's bigger than the other, now what? So what you're going to do is you're gonna put your thumb and index finger here and you're gonna squeeze the knot and you're gonna pull on the raw end to shorten that loop. We're gonna do the same thing on this side and then we're gonna tighten it again. With this type of ribbon, you're gonna to have to do this several times to get it exactly where you want it. But you can see that we can actually train it to get it the size that we want. And what we can do is we can come in with our scissors and we can trim up our ends. And I'd like to trim mine on an angle that helps not only to make it look a little prettier, but it keeps those ends from fraying. Let's talk about now adding bows to your cards. This is about six and a half inches of that exact same ribbon. And now what I wanna do is I wanna wrap it around one of the layers on my card to finish it. And we're gonna finish it together. So here I've embossed a piece of old olive cardstock and this is that beautiful tin tile embossing folder. I want my ribbon to go across the center. Well, usually what people do is they take the spool and they go around the entire layer. But you know what that does? It wastes quite a bit of ribbon. So here's a trick for you. Cut it about an inch and a half longer than what your layer is going to be and then pull out your glue dots. So I've got my glue dots here and I'm gonna take each of my raw ends and I'm gonna press that right on top of my glue dots so I can get a glue dot on each end. And then I'm gonna wrap this across the center of my card which is where I want my ribbon and then wrap your raw ends to the back, pulling it tightly. No one's gonna see the back side because it's gonna be layered on the card base. So that's gonna save you about four inches of ribbon at least every single card. I've got my vanilla card base here, so I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna add adhesive to the back side. And I'm gonna be fairly generous on this one because we've got quite a bit of embossing here and I wanna make sure that I get inside all those little nooks and crannies. And then I'm gonna layer this on the vanilla card base, leaving a slight border all the way around. Here's my image, it's all ready to go. I've already put dimensionals on the back and I'm gonna take off those paper backings. And I want my image on the left side of my card, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that here. If you were to go around the entire layer, you would have to leave at least another eight to 10 inches in order to tie your bow. And often what happens is your bow will hang sideways. Now, if you want it that way, that's great. But in this case, I want my bow to be straight. We can actually take a glue dot and we can place that right here on top of the ribbon to make it look like we've actually tied it. The benefit is that the bow is gonna lay even. Now, here's another thing that you can do if you're really challenged with making bows. Let's do a tie versus a bow. We're gonna slip this up underneath that raw piece, and all we're gonna do is we are going to make a single knot right here in the center. And you're gonna make sure that you pull it tightly. And then with your scissors, you're gonna come in and you're gonna give those ends a trim, just like we did when we created the bow. And that's gonna give us this beautiful tie here on the end. Now let me tell you why this is really beneficial. Because I can move it from left to right. Sometimes I've actually gone ahead and I've mounted my image and then I found that I didn't have enough ample room for my tie. By being able to maneuver it left and right, you're able to center it on your card base exactly where you want it. You'll be able to find the Winter Woods stamp set and the coordinating framelits, all part of the Stampin' Up! holiday catalog. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're interested in ordering Stampin' Up! products, I'd be happy to send you the annual catalog and or the holiday catalog complimentary. Just leave me a comment below. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time for another quick tip. Have a great day.